while a handful of land animals can create their own light. Homemade luminescence is the rule rather than the exception in the open ocean's dark waters. Researchers estimate that between 80 and 90% of deep-dwelling animals are bioluminous, creating light by mixing the pigment luciferin and luciferous, the enzyme that makes it glow. The light tends to green and blow, colors that travel far in seawater. Glowing helps attract mates, lure prey, or confound predators. Many of these animals live thousands of meters deep and are difficult to scientists to find and study. In this video, you will learn about prettiest and strangest glowing creatures, including bioluminescent shark species. Tomopterids are pelagic polychaetes, segmented worms that swim in the water column, never touching the seafloor. They are relatively common in the deep mesopelagic or twilight zone. They are often only a centimeter or two long, but can grow to be quite large, over 30 centimeters, one foot. Tomopterids have been observed spewing yellow bioluminescent mucus, presumably to deter predators. Yellow bioluminescence is rare in the deep, and scientists don't yet know why this worm has adapted this ability. Most comb jellies are hermaphroditic. They release both eggs and sperm, which they meet and fertilize in the open water. Though it's possible for comb jellies to self-fertilize, researchers don't know how often this happens. Like the siphonophore, comb jelly luminescence isn't fully understood. It is thought to be defensive, but we don't know for sure. The bigfin reef squid lives in warm waters like the Red Sea, around Hawaii and the Philippines. It is the squid species that is mostly served up as a calamari on our plates. Bigfin reef squid use their bioluminescent skills to both camouflage themselves and communicate. Male reef squid have the ability to change color at the same time as protecting the female squid who is laying eggs at the bottom of the sea. The upper body of the male projects a range of vivid and aggressive colors as a warning sign to predators. Now, let's talk about sharks. Shark researchers working off the eastern coast of New Zealand have made an illuminating discovery. The scientists found that three species of deep-sea shark are bioluminescent, producing a soft blue-green light with specialized cells in their skin. One of the species, the kitefin shark, grows to a length of nearly 6 feet, making it the largest known bioluminescent vertebrate. Giant squid, which get much bigger, are also known to produce light. The kitefin shark is a guitar-sized creature with brownish-black skin and large gaping eyes, but there is more to this shark than initially meets the eye. In the dark, it will emit a blue glow. On a 2020 voyage near the eastern coast of New Zealand, a team of international scientists discovered that the kitefin shark and two other deep-sea shark species all have bioluminescent properties. The expedition involved hauling up a small number of black belly lantern sharks, southern lantern sharks, and kitefin sharks from the ocean's twilight zone, a scantily illuminated region that extends from a depth of 660 to 3300 feet. The other two species are somewhat smaller than the kitefin, and all are occasionally caught as unintended bycatch by fishers. None are considered vulnerable to extinction, but little is known about their lifestyles and biology. In January 2020, a team of scientists from the Université Catholique de Leuven and New Zealand's National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research spent a month aboard a deep-sea trawler. After catching live sharks in nets, the researchers placed the animals in a seawater tank, took them to a dark room, and watched for signs of bioluminescence. As a result of stress or possibly shyness, only a handful of kitefin sharks, black belly lantern sharks, and southern lantern sharks flaunted their blue-green glow for the researchers, and those that did had their skin sampled for analysis. Most bioluminescent organisms, including fireflies, have specialized cells or organs that contain certain chemicals, including a compound called luciferin that interacts with oxygen to produce light. Some luminous creatures, such as the deep-sea anglerfish, get their glow by serving as host to colonies of bioluminescent bacteria. Bioluminescent sharks emit light from specialized cells on their skin known as photocytes, but exactly how they do this 
has long been a mystery. When a team of scientists analyzed the skin samples they had collected, they did not find any traces of luciferin or bioluminescent bacteria. They did, however, confirm that these three species control their light emissions in part by using hormones. For example, the chemical melatonin, a hormone that helps govern diurnal cycles and induce sleep in mammals, induces luminescence in photocytes. In the deep sea, where scientists estimate three quarters of all creatures are bioluminescent, having the ability to create light can be extremely advantageous. Deep sea animals use bioluminescence to do everything from attracting prey to deterring predators. Being bioluminescent can even help deep sea animals camouflage themselves. In the ocean's twilight zone, which receives minimal amounts of sunlight, bioluminescent animals can hide their silhouette from predators lurking below by producing enough light to match their surroundings, a trick known as counter-illumination. All three species examined in this study had large concentrations of photocytes on their undersides, which suggests that these sharks may hide from predators in just this way. However, the sharks also had photocytes on other parts of their bodies, so counter-illumination may be just one of many ways these animals use their bioluminescence. For example, the researchers found dense concentrations of photocytes on the dorsal fins of the kitefin sharks. The reason for this is unknown, but it might help kitefin sharks communicate with one another.